What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you guys, I'm going to walk you through um, simply setting up a countdown clock in your sequence, okay? Um, now, that sequence could be a sales sequence, a sales funnel sequence, or it could be an email um, sequence, okay? So, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of save you the time on um, – showing you all the countdown clocks on the pages inside of a sales funnel. Um, and I'll just show you how to simply um, add the countdown clock to the email. Cause that's what I, I wanted this one to this video to be on, because this is super important as you guys start to roll out promotions. And again, I don't know if you caught my previous videos, but I just got done going through a very expensive training course, right? Online course, digital course, learning Facebook ads and learning how to, um, how to scale my digital course, right? How to sell my course, how to really crush it with my course. Um, and in that course, I was, I was learning from my mentor um, how he put, put together his entire sales funnel, how he you know, sells his webinar and his course and all that stuff that, that has to do with it, right? And as I'm going through the course, he's showing us all the different softwares that consists of everything, right? That consists of his final product, right? Like the final product consists of multiple services, multiple softwares. And I'm sitting back looking at all this, watching it, right? It's a training course. I'm sitting back learning from all this. And I'm like, damn, dude, I can do all that in one software. And that's Kartra. So I'm super, super thankful for Kartra because even though in this training course that I was going through, he was literally giving us detailed instructions. I'm like, dude, even with you teaching, that's, that's still super confusing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just break it down to the simplicity of doing it through Kartra and, and, and why it makes so much more sense. Because again, you're either going to be, you're either going to be paying a separate service for your, for your landing pages. Cause this is what he was doing, or this is what he is doing. And this is what most of you guys are doing. Um, now, a lot of you guys that are probably watching my channel, most likely you're aspiring online entrepreneurs or you're aspiring agency owners, meaning you're just getting started. Maybe you're a beginner. Um, but for those of you out there that, 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 that are a little advanced at this, dude, I'm talking to you guys. Like You guys are spending way more money on all these random services, and you can do it all inside of Kartra. So... Um, for example, as I was going through his training course, one service for landing pages, and that was ClickFunnels. Another service for his email autoresponder, and that was Infusionsoft. Another service for his countdown clock, just for the damn countdown clock, which I'm going to show you how to, how to set up here in Kartra. Just for the damn countdown clock, a separate service. For the ability to tag all the activity that's happening from a lead, whether they click here, whether they watch here, whether they opt in here, the ability to tag, right? Tags are super, super important. It allows you to, to segment list it. There's so much that goes on with tags, but he was, he was paying or he is paying a separate service for tags. And I'm like, dang dude, like this is crazy. And then a separate service to host his membership course. And I'm like, wow, dude, that's already five services. And, and I'm telling you, man, at the end of it all, it was a monthly, a monthly fee of over 500 bucks to duplicate exactly what he was doing. Now, again, super successful, multi-millions, my number one mentor. But at the same time, I'm like, dang, dude, thank God for Kartra, because even though he's teaching me step by step through this video course, it's still damn, it's still confusing. And I'm like, dude, this, that's, that's crazy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just show you um, how simple it is inside of Kartra to um, set up countdown clocks and to also um, um, set up tags. Why don't, we, why, don't we, why don't we touch on those two things? Um, when you come in here to Kartra, you're going to come into the um, – let's go to um, – let's see if – I already have my communications up, but let me see if I can open up a new tab or if it'll actually give me an error. Because once you have a tab open, yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So in here, you click on my communications, you go to tags, okay? And in the tags, this is what I'm talking about. Every little thing that happens, you can tag. You could tag a person if they buy a product. You could tag a person if they 
um, unsubscribe from a list. You can tag a person if they subscribe to a list. There's so many different things. If you can think of the little activity, you could tag them for that, okay? And so if that little activity within your business has to do with anything, you could tag them for that. Okay, so in here, and, and then also you can set up categories. So in here, I have, I have different categories. And what I'll do is I'll just focus on this funnel that I'm talking about uh, today. So here's the category. This is my training course. And so I'm tagging people who finished the web class. So as you come to my landing page and you opt in, right? You click on the orange button, you opt in, you watch the web class now, right? You access web class now. There's a video, a webinar, right? On that next page. What I'm doing inside of Kartra is I'm tagging whoever finished it. So it's a 60 minute video, right? 60 minute webinar, 60 minute training class. I'm tagging people who have watched 45 minutes of it. So at the 45 minute mark, the system's gonna tag them and I'm now able to categorize who watched it. And based on that tag, I can send them a certain email, right? So many different things can happen with that tag because now I'm tracking it. So I haven't started this campaign yet, but you see two leads in here. I'm just testing it. I'm, I'm the actual two. So I'm just testing it, making sure everything is, 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 um, is ready before I actually launch it this month, um, which I'm super fired up about, man. This has been a, a, a making in progress for shit, probably a year now, um, mastering this webinar side of my business and this training course side of my business. Um, hasn't been super, super easy, but I'm telling you, man, because of Kartra, because of this one software, it makes it super easy compared to anything else you could possibly do, man. And again, you don't want to, when, when you're learning from, from successful people, which is what I invested in, I invested a lot of money to, to learn from this successful person. A lot of the times you don't want to reinvent the wheel, but at the same time, it's like, holy shit, dude. Like if there's a, a faster wheel or if there's an easier wheel, freaking reinvent it because shit. At the end of the day, it's the same damn thing. Just now I'm only using one software, right? So it just makes, it makes it so much easier, man. So shout out to freaking Kartra um, for, for just this type of technology. So people who finished it, they're going to be tagged, right? And then course affiliates, that's obviously affiliates, but people finished web class but didn't buy. Now, how do I know that? They register, they come to the, web, they come to the, to, to the landing page, they register, they watch the web, they watch the full-blown webinar, right? They watch the full-blown webinar. And then they end up coming over here. So this is what this is what I'm based on. This is the email sequence. Okay, we got true, we got false. Okay. So we have the landing pages. There's three, six, nine, ten pages in the entire sales funnel. Okay. Ten pages. Now in from these 10 pages, I'm linking so many of these pages, right? I'm linking them to the emails that I'm going to be sending to them over the next few days. So for example, the starting rule, who goes onto this sequence? They opt in to the list, right? Or they opt in to watch the webinar. But what I'm doing over here, the starting rule, lead fills out form, web class registration. So I'm telling the system on the starting rule, anyone who registers on this page, anyone who registers, that's the starting rule. Okay. Now, once they register, so if I come over here and I access web class now, if I finish it, that's one thing. If I don't finish it, the web class, right? If I don't hit 45 minutes and that person was not tagged at the 45 minute, then that's going to determine what side they go to true or false. And that's all right here in the split. So one hour later, one hour after that person registers, the system is going to come over here and see if they have the tag. Okay. The condition. So does the lead have the tag finished web class? If they do have the tag finished web class, then they go to the true side. Now these emails, one, Two, and I'm setting it up where this where it goes out immediately. So one hour later, they're gonna immediately get thank you for attending. Okay. One day later, they're getting another one. One day later, one day later, one day later, one day later. And those are those are those are it. So so right here, this is on, on day one. So one day, two day, 
three day, four day, okay, five day. So in that sequence on the true side and even on the false side, which I'll show you, there's a countdown clock, okay? There is a countdown clock and, and, and just psychologically a countdown clock creates urgency no matter what the hell you're selling. You know, it could be on any website. If you see a countdown clock and that discount expires in X amount of time, X amount of hours, X amount of days, it creates urgency psychologically and it makes you, makes you get off your ass and pull the trigger, right? And so in my emails is where I have that countdown clock. Now also on my pages, because what are these other pages? That's why a lot of times it's like, dude, you hear landing page, landing page, landing page. But it's like, shit, bro. What else is behind that landing page? So much more goes on behind the landing page. It's not just the landing page and the thank you page. It's not just that. Because if you're up on your game, you know the importance of nurturing that lead. If you took me to your landing page, I enter my, my name and email. So I come over here. I enter my name and email and I, I access web class and then I go to the second page, which is technically a thank you page. But in this case, it's a webinar page. It doesn't just stop there. Like I need to nurture that lead. There has to be communication going on after that because that person's not everyone's going to buy. If you send 10 people through this funnel and they go to your landing page, they opt in and then go to your presentation page or a thank you page, whatever. Out of 10 people who do that, do you understand that seven to eight of them are not going to buy right away? So what happens to the seven, let's, let's call it eight. What happens to the other eight leads? Two of them bought right away. The other eight did not buy right away. Those other eight need to be nurtured. And again, based on my split, based on my, my um, one hour later split, do they have the tag of watching it or not? And that's going to be, you know, determine what side they go to. So because I'm creating urgency, right? And, and so those of you that are selling stuff online, digital products, physical products, whatever. A lot of the times, like even with physical products, if you sent me to your website and you're selling freaking dog leashes, what you want to do or what, what, what a good idea for you, to, a good strategy for you to do is to put a countdown clock. So if I click on your product, if I go to your random website and I click on that product and I, and I, and, and, and I click on checkout, Put a little time clock right there and say, hey, if you order in the next five minutes, we'll give you 10% off your order. And, and some of you guys are like, damn, 10%, I can't give up 10%. Dude, increase the price. You're selling a freaking dog leash for 10 bucks? Okay, here's what I want you to do. Sell it for 11. Sell it for 11. And then when people go to that checkout, have a little countdown clock that says, hey, if you order in the next two minutes, we'll give you 10% off of this order. And then, and then it just brings it down to the price that you would have sold it to any for them any sold it to them for anyways, right? So you're able to alter the price for sure, but create urgency for the customer to get them to buy, right? And so through my email sequences and through my pages in the funnel. So for example, as these emails go out, there's links to get them to different pages. Okay, so there's links. That I want, that, and I'm, and this is going to be a video of me right here. So I have these pages; they're almost, almost done. Um, but in the pages, in the pages, there's also a countdown clock. So, for example, let me see if I can show you on this one. Um, yeah, see, so there's, I have countdown clocks on all the pages, and so what I'm doing is I'm making sure that that countdown clock is consistent with everything with the entire funnel so all these pages that have a countdown clock they need to all be under the same tag they need to all be at the same countdown timer right on the same countdown timer and so setting up a page in fact let me i'll show you how to do it on a page i'll show you how to do it on a page and i'll show you how to do it in the email sequence okay because this is one funnel um, this is, this is a, a major, major project that I have that I'm getting ready to roll out. And then this, and then this whole freaking Corona damn thing happened. So I'm, I'm kind of seeing, seeing how the market plays out right now, but don't wait too long, right? I can't wait too long. Got to roll this damn thing out. Um, but on these pages, right? So as, as people are getting my emails as, and again, whether it actually, if it's on the false side, those are people who didn't watch it, right? So here's my email right here. What happened? 
can you finish today? Did you get my last email? Right? Those are people who registered. They registered, but they left before the 45 minute mark. And so I'm asking what happened. And it's an email that I have linked back to the, the, the actual back to the page. So it's taking them back to this web class in progress. It's taking them back to that page right there to get them to, to get them to finish watching it. Um, and so what I want to show you right here, you guys is simply, um, I can show you on, yeah, let me, let me show you on this, on this first one. So let's, let's actually, you know what, let's do the pages first. I'll show you on the pages first. So here's what you want to do. You want to for sure set up tags. Okay. Tags are for sure. Let's go back to the tag real quick. Actually, there they go. Let's go back to first things first is to set up the tags. So all you're going to do is you're going to click on my communications, hover over leads, click on tags. And then, and then over here, you can, you can add a tag. So all of these back to these didn't buy registered for web class. And the, these are the actual, you know, buyers, my actual course students. Okay. So this tag right here is what I'm basing everything off of is the fact that they registered. Okay. So that countdown clock is going to be all based around that tag. Did they register? If, if so, okay, great. Whatever side they go to, whether they go to the left side or they go to the right side, whether they go to the true side or whether they go to the false side, the countdown clock is going to be all based on that tag. Okay. So here's what I'm going to show you. Let's show, let's show you the pages first. So let's go to that category and I'll just show you inside of this one. And so this is a page that I have which is frequently asked questions. So this email is going out, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually going out, I made this video for you. I think it's this one. Let me um, open this really quick. Let's see. Damn it. it! Because this builder is because I moved the tab before it opened. That's what slowed my Wi-Fi down. So let me let this load real quick. This Corona shit better not be taking down the taking the damn internet down, right, you guys? Thank God for the internet, man. Okay, so this is the page right here. And then this email, let's see if this is the actual, let me, um, okay. So let me see, let me open up this email and see if this is where I'm linking that page. My bad, you guys, let me turn off the damn freaking Okay, let me turn off my Wi-Fi over here. Let's see if I can, or on my phone, I should say. Do the Corona damn thing better not be taking our internet down, you guys. I'm telling you, man, we'll all freaking go mayhem. Actually, you know what? I might not be able to access access it there. Let's let's um let's click on the three lines and let's hit edit from here. Okay. So let 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 me open up this one right here. Click on edit. And then bring up this over here. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the, the way I clicked it just didn't allow me to see these, these pencils on the right-hand side. That's what I need. So it's, it's the three dots and then they edit. So let me open up this. In fact, I could show you the countdown from right here. I'm pretty sure I have a clock on this email. But I'm just showing you. Okay, perfect. So this, is, this email goes out, right? And then when they click on this blue link, it takes them to this page right here. This countdown clock, let me show you the countdown clock. This countdown clock, I'm going to show you how to do it right here. So let's, this, this video is going to be a short and sweet one. I want to show you how to set up the countdown clock on a page and then also set up the countdown clock on the email. Okay. So on the page, first of all, I can simply come over here to 
um, it's either sections or components. Let's check real quick. I still get confused on which one. Okay, there's the countdown clocks. Actually, and there's two different types of countdown clocks. So let me see if this is the one that I actually want. See, so you have you see how this one's a, an actual block template. So you can have those for sure. All the and that's why I love Kartra, man. So many different templates, dude. Look at all these beautiful templates. And of course, you can change the images on all that stuff. But there's these these block templates, and then if I go under components. There's these countdown clocks right here, which is the one that I'm using. So it's this countdown clock right here under components. These are all just the actual clock. So different styles, and of course you can change the colors and all that stuff. I'm telling you, dude, when I was going through the training course that I just got done completing, he's paying a separate software company, a separate service, just for the damn countdown clock. And I'm like, holy crap, dude, that's crazy. Um, and it wasn't cheap, man. It's like a hundred bucks a month or like 80 bucks a month or something like that. I'm like, dude, that's crazy. Um, so in this case, all I got to do is simply click it and drag it. And whenever I see the orange line, when it turns green, I can just drop it. Where'd my countdown clock go? Did I drop that right, you guys? Let's let's drop it again. Let's go back to components. Let's click on countdown clock. Let's click on this one and let's drop it. There we go. Perfect. So, in fact, I'll just show you on this one because this this one's already set up my countdown clock right here. But that countdown clock, you guys, I could put it anywhere, right? And because everything's based on the tag, that's what's going to make everything sync. You know in perfect harmony. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the edit and I'm going to come over here. You have different um, 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 options, right? You have different options. I can go fixed date and time. I can go based on a landing page date, based on landing page date. And right here, the difference between fixed and dynamic is fixed based on a landing page date. I can make that 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 countdown clock expire on April 15th at 8 p.m., right? So no matter who opts into the page from April 1st to April 14th, no matter who opts in at what time, what day, no matter what, the damn countdown is going to expire. The clock will expire April 15th at 8 p.m. That's fixed, okay? Dynamic is meaning there's no there's no fixed date so there's no april 15th at 8 p.m it, it's just it's just let, let's say the promotion is a five-day promotion and they they opt in on the 14th okay then the countdown clock isn't going to expire until the 19th right so it's all based on the time period that you're giving no matter what rather than a fixed date right because some of you guys have promotions and you're only running the promotion until april 15th okay that would be fixed if you're just giving anyone the promotion, but you're but it's a five day promotion, then that's dynamic, okay? And that's in my case. So with my with my web class here, there is no date, right? But there is a there is a there is amount of there's an X amount of days, right? So if you opt in, it's a five day countdown or six day or seven day or one day. How you can you know create whatever time you want, but in my case, it's a five day countdown. If you opt in and you watch my webinar, you have five days to, to shit or get off the pot. Like you have five days to pull the trigger. You have five days to buy or not buy. And so my countdown clock is based on dynamic, but it's based on tag. I highly, highly suggest that you guys do everything off of tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to base it off a tag description, subscription. And then I'm going to select the category, which is down here, clients. And then the tag is actually not clients, my bad. It's actually, uh, uh, let me move this damn Zoom thing. It's training course, there we go. It's the training course and then the tag is anyone who registered for the web class. So if you registered for that web class, this countdown clock is based on the number five, five days, okay? I'm giving you five days. If you, whether you watch it or not, right? The fact that you registered for it, you got five days. You got five days to watch it. You got five days to buy it, whatever, right? Everything, that countdown clock is going to expire in five days. And then when it does expire, I redirect them to a different 
page. So they will no longer be able to access that page. They're going to be going to the offer expired. So that is a separate page that I set up and I can have it open in a, in a new tab or I can just simply expire the page. So if they come to this page after five days, they're going to be redirected to this page, which is offer expired. Okay. Um, and that's how you set up a countdown clock on a page. So let's go back and I'm going to simply delete this because I don't need that there. And then anytime you make any changes to your pages, hit save progress for sure. And then if it's the final change, then what you're going to do is you're going to publish live. Let's go publish live. And that'll make sure that our, you know, that countdown clock is, is no longer there. But that's how you set up a countdown clock, dude, on a page. It could be on a landing page. It could be on a freaking thank you page. It could be on, a, on any page, you guys. And so all I'm saying with this is that my whole sales funnel consists of 10 pages. And there's countdown clocks on damn near all of them, um, except for the landing page. But um, there's urgency, right? I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm creating urgency. I'm, 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 I have a countdown clock on, let me show you real quick. I have a countdown clock on. Okay. So there's the offer expired page, right? Um, and it's going to be me on video. It's going to be me on video. Hey guys, thank you so much. Um, I know you tried watching it. I know you, you know, shit happens and, 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 and you were probably super busy, but the offer has expired. But what I want to do is just really extend my gratitude. Thank you so much for trying. Um, in the meantime, check your emails for future promotions and click the link below. It'll allow you to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I drop free information on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. Click below to subscribe and check your emails for future promotions. Have a great day. That's going to be a simple video that I put on the offer expired, aka your asked out page, right? Promotion, no more you know, discount, all that. So that's the offer expired page. So all I do is I just come over here, hit the green button and create multiple pages for whatever the hell I'm doing. And so in this case, the countdown clock is on the checkout page. It's on the frequently asked questions page. It's on this offer ends today page, module three page. It's on awesome clients, awesome results page. It's on four days left. Um, and it's on web class in progress. So it all starts here on this landing page. Once they opt in, they go to web class in progress. After that 60 minute video, there's a countdown clock. Okay. And again, that countdown clock is based on the tag. The tag is registered for web class. If they register for web class, that's the tag. And the countdown is going to be five days. Okay. So now let's go to the email. So here's the email, right? Here's one of the emails. And again, whether they went to the true side or whether, whether they go to the false side, it doesn't matter. The same countdown clock. I'm going to come over here, hit the countdown clock. Actually, first of all, let me show you how to even, how to even put one there. We're going to go to um, your, we're, I'm in the advanced tab right here. So make sure if you're on basic or advanced, it's on the advanced. And then you're going to go design templates. And then you could scroll down and you can add all kinds of different stuff. I can add an image, buttons, videos, whatever. And then down here, countdown. And so just like on the pages, there's all these different designs, all these different types of countdown clocks. So I could take any countdown and just click it, drag it over and drop it. Okay. In fact, let me show you, show it to you on this one. Um, and then of course I could change the color um, and all that stuff. So I click on that. Here's where I could change the color. I could change the color of the red. I can change the color of the white. I can get fancy with it. Um, but here's what I'm talking about. Fixed date and time fixed are based on a date based on a date. So again, all this stuff, you guys, is super, super powerful, but I always go with the, the tag, okay? Tag and dynamic, because that allows me, again, no matter what day or time that person opted in, it does not matter. There's a countdown from that point on, okay? So I'm going to go tags, subscription, dynamic. Okay. Actually, damn, where'd I go? Actually, let's go back to it. my bad, you guys. So let's go, let's click on this. Let's go to edit. 
there's tags dynamic and then category. I'm going to go to the category, which is the training course. And then the tags, I'm going to go with registered for web class. Okay, so as long as they have that tag, this countdown is going to be on a five day countdown. Okay, and then I click on the green button edit. And that is it, you guys. And then I'm going to go through each email and tie it to that tag, set the five days, and that's it. And so as people come in and opt in, there's that countdown on everything, on every, 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 every page within the sales funnel and every email, whether they went to the true side or the false side, every email will be based around that five-day tag. Okay? So... That right there, you guys, is how you create urgency. That right there is how you get your shit sold. Um, that right there is how you just bring value, man. Bring value because at the same, at the end of the day, man, people need to be pushed, man. We hate to be sold, but we love to buy. And so if you can bring value and, and just bring some psychology into it, and I'm telling you, a countdown clock makes people jump. If you can just make them jump, I'm telling you, and if you're, if you're bringing value, people are going to be glad you did. They're going to be glad you made them. They're going to be glad you tricked them with some reverse psychology on a damn countdown clock, right? So you don't want to put the countdown clock in, in, in just random places, but if it makes sense for what you're offering and what you're doing, then of course, man, and I'm telling you, it's on, it's on different pages inside of your sales funnel or, and, or it's in your email sequence. Okay. So this is a sequence that I have you guys. And it's, it's a, it's a five day countdown. It's really four days. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to extend it out to five days. It's, it's, it's um, in the system. It's what Frank Kern calls a four-day cash machine. But um, I just put five days. And so it counts down from, from five days. And so whether they go to the true side or whether they go to the false side, they're going to see different clocks. Like if I open up, did you get my last email? The false side are for people who registered but didn't reach the 45-minute mark, right? So therefore, they don't have the tag finished web class, right? So those people are going to come over here and even over here now what am i doing over here on the true side the countdown is to get them to buy on the false side the countdown is to get them to go finish watching the damn thing because in five days bro it's going to expire and you ain't going to be able to watch it at all so you might as well watch it now finish the damn thing right so that's what i'm doing over here on the false side so in here i don't think i have the countdown clock on each email on the false side but I have it in, in a few. Perfect. And I only have four emails that are going out on that false side. If you ain't watching that damn thing, you registered and within the next four days, you ain't going to watch it. Okay, whatever. I ain't going to keep bugging you about it. And, and here's what's powerful as well. I'll show you this after. But there's my countdown clock. So if I open up the countdown clock, there's my tags, tag sub dynamic. There's the category. There's the tag. And then there's the five days. Okay. So let's get out of this really quick and let me show you what happens after the fact okay so they go to the true side they go to the false side okay um and first of all when they do buy so they're on the true side let's say they're on the true side right and they get down to they get down to um um Let's say they get down on the true side and they get down to this part down here. Let's say what's worse than expired milk. That's the last day, right? Countdown clock is probably like at 30 minutes at that point. And then they end up purchasing. Then they're tagged core students. And that was the tag I showed you earlier, core students. Then they're tagged core students and then they're automatically unsubscribed from this email, okay? In fact, you know what? I'm gonna set that up right now. And I'm gonna show you guys how I set that up. Um, but here's the deal. If they don't buy, so they go to the true side and they go down the sequence and they haven't bought, they haven't bought this automation is in place. Okay. Let me show you this. This is super powerful. This is how you segment your list. Okay. Um, super, super important. You gotta be doing this, man. You gotta be doing this. Okay. So this right here, recipients, anyone who reaches this step, here's the, here's the automation. Okay. Here's the automation. Lead reaches this step, then subscribe them to this list right here. Okay? So didn't buy web class. I want to know who didn't buy. 
right? I want to, I want to be able to market to that list in the future. Maybe I have another web class that's coming up in three months. I can email everyone on that list because I know they didn't buy the first time around, right? They went through the entire sequence. They went down every email and they still didn't buy. Let's make sure we know who those people are. That right there, you guys, is super, super important. Okay. Super powerful. Um, and then also on the other side, on the false side, let's look at the false side. So over here, and also real quick over here on the, on the true side, this is the last email of the sequence. It's really the two days, this one right here, last email. It's really, that's the last email, but <clears throat> as far as me pitching them and trying to get them to buy, it's really only, this one goes out an hour later immediately. Thank you for attending. And then one day, two day, three day, four day, five day. Okay. That's really the countdown clock. That's it right there. But two days later, I don't know if you caught this in previous emails, but I was giving you the golden nuggets on this two day later one. This two day late, later one is when I'm emailing them asking, why didn't they buy? You got to ask your people, man. You got to ask your, 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 your audience. Hey dude, why didn't you buy? Like, and, and, and so what I'm doing in that one is I'm sending them a survey. Some of them will fill it out. Some of them won't, you know what I mean? But if I can get a handful of them to fill it out and say, Hey man, this is why I didn't buy that allows me to tweak my program and make it even better. You need that feedback from your audience. You need that feedback from your lead base. Okay. These people who are registering and going through your, your funnel, you want to know why they, why they didn't buy. It'd be cool to find out why people bought too, but that's, that's when, that's when you get testimonies from people and, 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 and ask them for, you know, reviews and things of that, that, that sort things of that nature. And that's when you can leverage, you know, reviews and, and, and testimonies from the people who actually bought, but the people who didn't buy, I want to know why you didn't buy. And so two days later, I'm sending you an email, um, asking why didn't you buy? And it's a simple survey. It's a simple survey that I'm sending out. Okay. Um, now over here on the false side, over here on the false side, I'm taking them down, taking them down, taking them down. And then two days later, so really what they're getting is they're getting, they're getting what happened. They're getting that immediately. So an hour after they registered, right after the web class, and if they don't have the tag, what happened? Okay. So that's coming out on day one, but one day later, here's what the system's showing or looking for, I should say the automation is set up to see if they have the tag. Now I'm asking what happened when they receive that email, they can click on it and actually go and watch it. And if they finished it, then they'll be tagged. If they didn't finish it, then they won't be tagged. So the automation right here, lead reaches this step and they have the tag, okay? And they actually finished the web class, then pause the flow and send them to step two. Move lead to step two. What is step two? Step two is right here. There's the number two. So they get this email, the automation checks and says, hey man, they actually watched it. It's going to send them over here and same thing down here. So they end up coming down here. The system's going to check. Oh, they still haven't watched it. Okay, cool. Send them. Can you finish today? And then a day later, the system's going to check. Do they have the tag or do they not? Do we send them down or do we send them to step two? So no matter on the false side, no matter how far they go down, they can come down to the very last one, which is this one right here. I'm only looking for the 1%. They can get that email and they're like, damn, dude, this guy's making sense. Let me finish watching the damn web class. That's when they end up finished watching it and the system's going to check if they did and send them to step two. And then they go up over here. Okay. So if they didn't watch it, then they're going to end up coming down and getting this one a day later. Okay. So, okay. Now let's, let's say they didn't do any of that, right? They didn't do anything two days later. The system is going to see if they watched it or if they bought or anything like that. Let me, let me see what I, what I set it up under, but this is going to subscribe them to a different list. Okay. So it's going to set them up under lead reaches this step lead does not have tag. Okay. Then subscribe them to didn't finish web class. Okay. Didn't finish web class. That's a specific list. Didn't finish web class. Okay. 
So in the future, I can have a list of these people and send them something else, okay? Or if I, if I want to get even more gangster with it, I could take that list, upload it to Facebook, and create a custom audience around it. And then take that custom audience and create a lookalike audience around it. So this data, you guys, is super, super important. And again, software like Kartra that allows me to do all this damn stuff in one makes it so so much easier, man. I'm telling you. Some of you guys are just Mickey Mouse net and paying way more than you need to be paying. Okay. So what I am going to do here, so that's that's pretty much it, you guys. That is um how to set up a countdown clock. And that's a look at all my, you know, my entire funnel. There's 10 pages in this funnel. Um everything, including the checkout page, including the landing page. There's 10 pages in that funnel. And I was able to create everything inside of Kartra. So what I'm going to do is over here is I'm going to hit done and exit so I can make sure I don't lose anything in that sequence. And then, and then, and then that is it. So here's the tags. Um, set up your tags, set up your email sequences, set up your email list, and for sure set up your pages. And if you're new to all this, man, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and a digital publishing company. So I'm taking all my knowledge that I've gained from 2016 servicing social media clients and I am packaging it all up in a training course and scaling that. So I'm super fired up about software like this that makes it all easy. Um, I'm super fired up about YouTube. I'm being able to record all this crap and bring you guys value. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right. And there's a 14 day trial in the description. So profit with Kartra dot online. It's a 14 day trial. Compare it to what you guys go, got going on and see if it's not night and day uh, for you. All right, you guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Over now.